Hey Cancer, what's going on? Welcome, you are now in the Zebra Tarot Lounge. Welcome to Zebra Tarot. And if y'all are here, I'm so happy. I'm excited that you all are here. My intentions are that these readings reach exactly whomever, whichever person, wild animal, beautiful divine being that they need to reach at exactly the right times that they need to reach you for the best and highest good of everyone involved. So if you're here, there may be messages in here for y'all. The channel is of the light and only of the light. The light mess with the light over here, y'all. So, um, if y'all are returning, welcome back. And uh, again, for my new cancers here, um, we are right now going home to the kingdom, the queendom of heaven. It's heaven on earth. And where is that? It's actually within. Pretty much it's tailor-made custom made for you whatever you desire whatever that vision is for you whatever lights you up inside like a christmas tree that's your kingdom queendom of heaven within and that is because we are now stepping into or we have now stepped into the age of aquarius and it's about to be so freaking abundant so freaking lovely beautiful divine all of the above literally higher dimensionally and uh yeah beautiful in every way all right uh we'll go ahead and get started we'll get into it right now thank you all for being here for being patient holy spirit guardian angels of the highest white light i invite you in now may these messages reach whomever they need to reach and uh may they be a light to them if they're going through any darkness any anything that they're going through may these messages just uplift them illuminate any blind spots and give them peace hope joy courage all the above whatever it is that they is most needed at this time thank you for keeping myself and my viewers safe as we go forward into this new week for wrapping us all in pink spiritual divine bubble wrap thank you that no weapon formed against us can prosper because we are loved we are protected at all times all right holy spirit guardian angels last one night Get started. Um, I have some high speed for the guessers for the week ahead. Here's one. All right, we got three uh, star card flipped up. Very age of Aquarius energy, but this is you being the star of your own life. Oh, okay, we got four. Um, if your life was a movie and you got to be the director of it, Imagine right now for a moment that we are writing the last chapter before we write a brand new book in this new age, this heaven on earth. And imagine you all get to direct that last chapter to it gets to go however you want it to go. That's what I'm getting here with this star card energy that very much so heaven on earth being the star of your own life, movie star of your own life, the director, actor, all of it, actress. The other card was the uh, Four of Swords. This is a need for rest. It could be mental rest. Maybe a need for detachment of maybe letting go of the way things were, the way things used to be. Maybe letting whatever is dying die so that the new can be birthed. Ace of Cups, this is spiritual, emotional, physical, mental, healing, all of the above. This dove of the Holy Spirit pouring into you, filling back up your cup so that it is overflowing, spilling over so that when your cup is full, then you can give to others. But if your cup is empty all the time, then that's not good for anyone. You have nothing left over to give to another. That's a very dry, dead place. And it's where, as we've been in this age of Pisces, our divinity's been hidden from us. There's been a lot of lack and it's very dense, heavy fear-based reality being trapped really deep down in these emotions of shame, guilt, anger, frustration. Um, that could be for someone, but maybe y'all aren't feeling that intense this week or haven't been feeling that intense, but with the Ace of Cups here, the divine is definitely pouring into you. 
getting a rebirth of some sort. And uh, the Seven of Cups here, this is having a lot of temptation, having a lot of offers, having to potentially make a choice, but uh, it's like you're here window shopping, picking which you want to come in this week, what you want to come in next. Maybe you, I feel like you all have already picked something. I feel like this is already here. If it's not here yet, it's, I feel like it's right at the doorstep. We're all on a little bit different timelines, playing out the same storyline in our own unique individual way. But what do you desire, Cancer? You want a unicorn, you want a dragon, you want, maybe it's a new relationship, new girlfriend, new boyfriend, new promotion, something like that. I got my Starman tarot deck here, y'all. I think y'all saw this last week. My spirit guardian angel is nice, my life. I have a hard place for the overall energy. Seven of Pentacles flew out, y'all. This Seven of Pentacles, this is overall energy of you. For you all, you've been very methodical, very patient. You've gone the distance. Whatever that means to you has come into mind for some reason. I feel like you've been very diligently, very patiently taking steps one by one by one by one, putting one foot in front of the other very well aware of all the BS happening around you, whatever that may be. And just rolling your eyes, not letting it get to y'all too much, very in control of your inner world, your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings, whatever, just being really laser focused on something. Seven of Pentacles here, this is you. You've planted the seeds, you've tilled the ground, you've watered them, you've pulled the weeds. And uh, this is you just you know, kind of being patient while it all grows for you. As you so shall, shall you reap. I feel like there's something really exciting and new coming in for you all this week. It can be big or small, but something very good for you, very important for you, big or small, whatever that is. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, and I spot I have a card piece to do just more information for the Seven of Pentacles, this overall energy besides just having to be patient. All right. Okay. Well, these actually flew out on all three of them and landed on the Seven of Cups, which is temptation, having to make a choice, or just basically getting to go shopping for your new desire, like, We had the death card, not to scare y'all, this isn't like physical death. We are infinite magical spiritual beings having right now temporary human experience. And as we go, through, we're constantly always going through this death, rebirth process, death, rebirth, death, rebirth. Just like nature, every fall, the leaves begin to die and fall off the trees. Then winter, spring comes fresh, new growth, fresh, new life. And then it repeats over and over again, something in your life has passed away, has died, an old relationship, an old I feel like it's been gone for a while now, for a hot minute, and I, I'm just really feeling strongly that whoever's watching y'all have been like seriously diligently putting one foot in front of the other and for a while now keeping your head down, staying focused, dealing with the good, the bad, the ugly, and just transmuting that into the light the best you can trying to be positive the justice was also another card to flow out this is divine court is in session and the ruling is in your favor as you so so shall you reap your justice is you are getting this ace of cups this beautiful new beginning this week or it's already here already been here this justice is y'all getting to pick any desire you saw choose Maybe you've been thinking about this desire for a long time and I'm getting it's finally here for y'all this week or the beginning stages of it. 
And the last one that came out was the Hangman. This is you. Spending some time hanging out. Flipping your perspective, flipping the way that you see things. Maybe now you're finally seeing that it is for good. Everything happened for a reason. Star card here, this is you being the star of your own life. Well, y'all see that? Okay, the candle just went out. Okay, let's smoke here real quick. Huge confirmation for someone, y'all. You're becoming the star of your own life. Whatever just standard your life is going to be huge, transformational. And as we step into this new earth, this kingdom of heaven within, we are letting go of everything that cannot come with us. So maybe you're far enough along on your journey now where you've let go of what cannot come with you. And maybe you're now aligned with the whatever it is that is actually meant to come with you to your personal kingdom queendom of heaven within lion king is coming to mind i don't know why like uh simba nala uh kuna matata no worries for the rest of your days problem three philosophy as we step into this age of aquarius like it's everything about life everything is going to shift and be made new and change and it's going to be no more bs no more problems not like what we've been used to Whoever's watching, y'all have a big heart and you've been through some stuff, um, but you managed to keep your heart open. You haven't managed to die within. You managed to, to still fill. All right, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Science Fight Life. I have a couple cards, please, for cancers. What kind of energy can they expect to be in by the end of the week? Anything that we might need to know here? What can they expect to be in by the end of the week? This happens all the time. Four of Swords, Four of Swords. So definitely just highlighting a need for rest this week. Maybe it's a physical rest that you need if you've been going hard in whatever way that is for you. I don't know, maybe you just, maybe you're exhausted, maybe you're wore out, maybe you, you just need like to be able to sleep for five days and go on this vacation and, and just, Live like royalty for the week. I don't know. Whatever it is, rest your mind, rest your soul, rest your pure heart. Maybe now you're finally able to rest. All right, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, last so highlight another card, please. For Cancers, what kind of energy can they expect to be in by the end of the week? Princess of Swords, this is like the Knight of Swords. I'm gonna be feeling like a superhero this week. Like legit, I feel like you're going to be feeling like a Superman, Superwoman, Batman, whatever, Catwoman. Like you're going to feel like, you're gonna look in the mirror and you're gonna see someone magical this week that you're going to be in your knowing your truth, whatever that may be, speaking your truth and just being able to rest in your truth and just feeling so confident in who you are, who you're becoming. I feel like a lot is going to sort of be healed this week or make sense for y'all if it hasn't already. All right, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Eyes, Twilight. Last card, please. All right, well, last card. Prince of Pentacles came out. Um, 
this is like the page of pentacles this could be an incoming offer maybe you're getting a promotion at work or something like that also too for some of y'all this could be the past that you're leaving behind this like dead past this something very stuck very like the horse there is mechanical it's very dead and he he's looking pretty dead there but this horse here is like stuck and like you could be this could be your past and it's just over it's done with you've made peace with it whatever it may be Starman, this was flipped out on the bottom of the deck. This is Starman, Star Woman. This is you feeling like that superhero. This is where we're all going to be when we fully step into the age of Aquarius, when we're fully there, when it's all over and done with. We're all going to be magical and fly and lit up inside and be able to be living this magical existence, infinite, abundant existence with this is you making your dreams come true. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, High Five. I, anything else that my cancers need to know? My cancers are awesome, what do they need to know? Knight of Wands. There's a lot of pages and knights here. With the Knight of Wands, I feel like it's already there for y'all, but something that's coming in quickly for y'all this week, something, whether big or small again, but it will be important to y'all. It will be very meaningful for y'all. It doesn't have to be huge, massive life changing, but whatever it is, it's going to, it's going to feel like such a blessing for y'all. Something that you've longed for, something that you've prayed for. Holy Spirit, guiding me with my spotlight. Last card, please, for my cancers. Oh, all right, I guess. Again, this Princess of Swords, also the Knight of Swords. Just to confirm that. The Emperor, this is you sitting on your throne. Masculine or feminine, just um, gender does not matter, just energy. This is you taking charge of your life, ruling your empire within, being in control of yourself. And the higher found, this could indicate a higher level of commitment. This is maybe you're entering a new relationship of some sort. Um, You're going to be feeling very close connected to the divine this week. Um, could be a higher level of commitment, a relationship for a lot of y'all watching, whatever it is. Um, got the keys down there, you've been given the keys. All right, guys, so thank you all for watching so much, and uh, I will catch you all next week. If you would like free personal reading, my email is in the description box below. Feel free to reach out, let me know what you want, what you need, and I'll be happy to be of service to y'all. All right, I'll catch you all next week.